Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is July 28th, 2022. I am here for my quartal of the day. So I've got this set of words that I'm trying out. I want to see if I can beat these in fewer than, you know, five, six, seven, eight. The tries five, six, seven, eight. But I haven't been able to do that yet, so I'm testing out this group of words. Starts with stand, and I like the letters in there, so I want to start with that word stand. Okay, it gives me something, not enough to go on to actually pick things yet. So I think I will go, let's try the word gripey instead of whelm, see if that gets me anything. Okay, it got me something. This looks promising, but it can be too many things. We still don't have a lot placed. Yeah, I'm going to go with the next word in the series that I have, whelm. I'm underwhelmed. I'm going to try bucko. I mean, look at this. The only thing we have here is a Y. We need something else. What is, oh, Firepot is drinking my water. Brat. Okay. Um, ugh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we tried 20 unique letters. We got the U placed and we got the Y placed. So we have to go to our backups. Because unless this is why you, why you, why, <laughs> we have some letters that weren't covered in those four words. It's going to be F, Q, V, X, Z, and or J. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it's fuzzy. I mean, it can't start with a Q, Q, U, because there are no other vowels. We've used up all of the other vowels. And usually it's Q-U something. I think it's fuzzy. Am I sure it's fuzzy? I'm pretty sure it's fuzzy. What else could it be? Um, I don't think it could be anything else. Based on all of those letters we've used up. And unfortunately, the Z doesn't show up anywhere else here to help us out. Okay. We got one done. Hi, Firepaw. You having fun chasing the sheets? Oh, no, he's chasing his tail on the sheets. Okay. <sighs> this looks pretty good. We've got a couple of things placed here. I like to go where we've already got letters in their compartments. A, K. Now, we also know there's a W somewhere, and not here, which is the normal place. So W or W? No, that's too awkward. That doesn't work. I think we almost certainly have to put the W here. Oh, we should be using blue. Let's just go ahead and put this here. And then we've got the E. I think I see what it is. I think it's the word awake, right? It could be. Uh, the A isn't going to help us anywhere else. None of the other puzzles use another A. The W isn't going to help us. A, K, E. Now placing the E here might help us. Firepaw, you're just getting into everything, aren't you? Um, I think it has to be awake. All right, we got two. But again, I got that on the fifth try and that on the sixth try. The best I can do is five, six, seven, eight. Schlemiel, schlemaz. Okay. Um, <laughs> this one's got something placed. So I think we go here, right? I. That E was not helpful. So we've got the I, and we know there's going to be a P in the word. My guess is it's going to be the first letter, so I'm going to start with that. 
P, P, or P. We know there's an L in the word, and L goes really well with P, but it can go here, here, or here. We know there's an E in the word, could go here, here, or here. And we know there's an R in the word, could go here, here, nope, because we know the I goes there, here or here. I think I see it. So I always like to start with that PL. And if we do P L I E R plier, it's a word. If nothing else, it's going to help us place things. Maybe I'll be thankful for the days that I got it in 5, 6, 7, 8 if this doesn't work. Could it be anything else? I was very quick to put the P and the L there. What if we start with an R? R-E-L-P? No, we can't have an L. R-P. Erp. <laughs> Erp. Oh, Firepaw. I know. He's climbing all over my desk right now. Just has to check everything out. He's seeing if there's any other water that I have that he can drink from. And there is, but he didn't find it. Ha ha ha. Okay. Um, I'm going to try plier. I'm going to try it. Oh, phew. Ooh, and it gave us something for this. So I'm glad of that. So finally, we have something placed here. We know there's an E here. And we know that there's going to be an S, but it's not the first letter. So let's try a T. We know the T is going to be, hey, Firepaw, here or here or here. I think there's going to be two E's in this word. Oh, but it can't be here and it can't be here. We've already excluded them. But I think that we need another, I mean, unless it's S-T-R-E-T, -E but it can't be. We've excluded that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We know that there's going to be an R in the word, right? So the R could go here or here, but that's it. We know there's going to be an S in the word, could go here or here or here. Okay, so let's say there's another E in here. Let's check on that because there's no other vowel. So the E could go, it can't go here, here, here. So it could go here or here. I think I see it. It's very confusing. But if we put the E here, then it excludes the S from there, so it has to go here or here, and then we put the S here, and then the T has to go here, and then we have to place the R somewhere. I think it's reset. And, and it goes really well with um, fuzzy, reset, awake. I don't know, I like that. It's a good progression. Or it could go <laughs> awake, reset, fuzzy. Let's try it. Ah, oh, got it. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. I, I actually feel fortunate to have gotten that now. But I think I will come up with a different set of words. It's hard to come up with four words 
that use 20 letters, 20 unique letters. I know you 249, we do have that other grouping and I may go back to that or look around for something else. That's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.